Hey, what's up, everyone? Rogue Maverick here. This is just so you you have something to pay attention to, uh, uh, like so it's not. Anyway, it's not important to the video. I'm not actually. I'm just playing Mario Kart. So the Nintendo Direct launched, uh, landed yesterday, and holy cow, that was kind of the idea of a mixed reception. They announced a couple of really cool games, like Super Mario Maker 2, which was. Let's face it, practically inevitable. But what really caught me off guard was the remake of Link's Awakening. I saw a, a Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which, by the way, the art style absolutely, ad <clears throat> absolutely adorable. <laughs> um, I'd seen in a list of leaked games that they were talking that there was a 2D Zelda. I thought it was going to be something brand new altogether. But no, it actually wasn't. It was a remake, which I didn't expect. I mean, yes, there's been the remakes of the 3D Zeldas, you know, um, Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, uh, Wind Waker HD, and Twilight Princess HD. On a side note, I think Win uh, Skyward Sword would be a great idea for a port for the Switch, considering the even better motion controls than a Wii Motion Plus. But that's neither here nor there. Um, there was also Tetris 99, which... That's a unique concept. It was free to download and play. And as far as to my knowledge, no in-game purchases either. Aside from, uh, the uh, uh, aside from Nintendo Online being needed to play the game while online, because that's the only way you can play it. I, uh, I'm actually a big fan of Tetris. Like, really big. Like, I've played quite a few versions of Tetris, and I've probably sunk hundred, uh, dozens of, at least dozens of hours into the various versions. I own the Game Boy Tetris game on the 3DS and uh, in, in re on a real cartridge. Uh, but yeah, you play against uh, other. T there's 99 players at once, which you think is be, be chaotic, and frankly, it kind of is. But I've played it a bit, and I on the. Uh, I had a bad game. I played like three games so far. The first game didn't end the greatest because I wasn't. I didn't know how the game worked. The second one, <clears throat> I just had a. I just misplaced a couple of pieces and really screwed me over. <laughs> that tends to happen <clears throat> in Tetris games sometimes. Um, but the third one, I placed thirteen of the ninety-nine players. Like I. Like, the, when you get a, a knocked out, that's where you rank. So, if you got knocked out first, you'd be ranked 99. I was knocked out uh, very late on. Um, but yeah, that one was a lot of fun. <clears throat> <coughs> Quite a few JRPGs were announced, too. Uh, now, personally, I love some RPGs. Mostly the Mario ones, but I don't mind a few... Um, JRPGs. Not a big fan of them like some people are, but I am more than okay with people loving them. I even get some of the appeal. In fact, I enjoy Final F a little bit of Final Fantasy 4. I've never gotten very far. 7, I haven't really got far enough. Though, speaking of 7, that's coming to Switch sometime soon. Which I think is awesome. Final Fantasy 9 was coming out later yesterday. Like, after the Direct. I don't know. I imagine it's going to be a paid game. Um... I might try that. Uh, I've played Final Fantasy Thirteen. Wow! Oh, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I think I played. Uh, I I forget the name, but it was. I think it was like Lunar. Uh, I have it somewhere on my PSP, but I pull. I pull and I pulled up the name, but I uh, my PSP is on. Has having some issues, so. Ugh. Was it? Loons, Moonstar? No. Moonstar? I forget the name of it. Anyways, that's not important. But I've played a few JRPGs. Never got very far of them, but I enjoy them. Um. The, but it, it was disappointing because there was some, uh, some games I was expecting at least some information on. It was like only 40 seconds of Smash Ultimate. 
just like basically a little about Joker. Mo really just announcing his release date, which uh, that's better than nothing. At least we have a release date. I was hoping he'd be ready by now, but then again, they said they'd be out by 2020, so. And uh, this is Nintendo we're talking about. They focus on quality over quantity. <clears throat> And Ultimate was definitely quality with quantity, so. Disapp another disappointing aspect was uh, no Luigi information on Luigi's Mansion 3. I was uh, sure they would announce something for that, uh, uh, announce some information on that. Considering, you know, the fact that it was giving, it was <clears throat> given a uh, 2019 release date. Well, release time anyway, I should say. So I was sure they were going to announce some information, but they didn't. That was disappointing. Bayonetta 3, I'm... I actually like Bayonetta. I played the second one actually quite close to the end before I got sidetracked with other games. I tend to do that a lot with my games. Um, I've, I tried playing the first one, couldn't quite get into it as much. Though that could also be partially the controller. I'm not a big fan of the Xbox 360 controller. It's comfortable, but it's not my go-to controller. Um, but Bayonetta 3 had a startling lack of info. And there was nothing on Metroid Prime 4. Which I, the Metroid Prime 4 I had was completely expecting. They announced that they restarted development. Basically, from st scrap, uh, they started from scratch again. But it, there was talk of Metroid Prime Trilogy be, possibly being announced for the Switch. And it, I was actually starting to think that would make a lot of sense. But they didn't announce that. It was... But yeah, going back to The Link's Awakening, I was really... I'm really excited to see that. My reaction, I saw the open... Uh, basically, it was a... Like, sort of a stylized anime opening. A recreation of the opening for the Game Boy title. I was like, whoa, okay, some sort of water-based game or something. Then I s saw something that almost looked like a boat, and I was like, okay, sailing. Kind of figured that. Then I got a closer look at the character, and I was like, wait, is that Link? The only time I've seen something like this is, is basically Link's Awakening. Then I saw the lightning strike the ship, and I was like, Holy shit, are they remaking... They are remaking Link's Awakening. I was just completely caught off guard. Mario Maker 2, I am so picking that up that I even got... It didn't get a super specific release date, but we got a release month. It's going to be sometime during June 2019, which means it's probably going to have some information at E3. Ugh, I, I am so picking up Mario Maker 2. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what well, your thoughts on some of that, on the new Nintendo Direct, if you caught that, and some of the announcements or lack of thereof for the Nintendo Direct. Be awesome to hear. Let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one.